And welcome back to Icewind Dale, Rime of the Frost Maiden. When we last left the Icewind Trackers, they were still trying to resolve this druid issue inside of the Elven Tomb. As long as she remains, it's obvious that the people of Lonely would be would be harassed day in day out. No one's going to get log logs or timber. So long as she remains, so trying to come to some sort of deal with them but uh it's a long back and forth and <clears throat> i think color went in there tried to talk sense into them <clears throat> and in the end uh kind of got nowhere except that you did learn that the tomb in there had been disturbed and sarah um the the <clears throat> the mummy, uh, <laughs> the mummified elven prince, prince, uh, uh, priest. Sorry, she says that someone has definitely like opened up that tomb. I don't know what's happened to it, but if so, it would explain why there's a angry spirit in the forest. Um, and so you kind of wanted to set out, perhaps put her to rest, and yeah. So you you looked around the forest. And it wasn't long before you saw the ghostly apparition as she was floating there you saw all the kind of pines just falling away from the tree's branches her deathly presence being um, one that has claimed the lives of many in this forest and as you rushed up engaged in combat began to weather them down and just when they looked like they were near um, near being ban vanquished I guess not dead <laughs> but vanquished uh, that's when the the white lady began to tether your souls together, Wheelgeist, and hopefully soul bonding them meant that they could pull them away from this this uh, emotion that's keep, keeping them tied here. But also so that you can be, like benefit from learning from this elven spirit and perhaps find out who was the one who disturbed her tomb. Unfortunately, in the confusion of battle and not knowing that perhaps Will Guy's soul was tied in that moment, uh, six or seven launched a fatal spell towards the, the ghost, and Geist fell in battle. The ghost was quickly vanquished right after, where it said Hala took on the, the role of uh, soul bonding them. Um, but Geist was not moving afterwards. That's when you realized you had to deal with something else. The strange alien-like creature that was gestating within them finally burst forth. And it took a few spells, but eventually it was Hala that brought down the hammer and squashed this, this parasite dead once and for all. <clears throat> Upon um, realizing that Geist was no more. The moose offered perhaps one solution, but I had had only heard stories of Ravison speaking about it. There's apparently an old, even more old, older druid than Ravison that lives in Calvin's cairn. The story goes that one such Goliath was laid on an altar in Calvin's cairn, and they pleaded with the druid to bring them back. <clears throat> and uh, it seems as though Oral perhaps gave this Goliath a second chance as it was later revealed that they were reincarnated and now lives amongst the Regad tribe. <clears throat> you too will have to set out to Kelvin's Ken, place Wilgeist upon the altar, and also alongside at least 1,000 golds worth of rare oils and reagents needed for the spell. And uh, lastly, Baritomus went in one last time trying to reason with Ravison. And it seems as a fellow animal lover, you were able to get across to her what, what you want to do here. And she agreed that should you take care of the one that murdered her sister, then she will be on her way. She will move on from Lonelywood. 
and uh, the one you found out in Lonely Wood was a, uh, I think they're a, the inn's proprietor, yeah, for the Lucky Liar. Their name is Dana Danae Zotor. And apparently they have some dark secrets. Apparently she's a Thean agent working for an entity known as Sas Tam, a powerful lich. And that's uh, that's everything we have. We we all caught up. Um, you guys are just discussing this this murder plan. What do you want to do first? So, um, you guys wanted to rest first before we go um, deal with this um, Bayon agent. Well, we have to sleep overnight. It's rest up, and then we head back in town. Deal with the deal with them. Did we not? Did we, we not take a murder. long rest? We didn't. We didn't. We we mechanically did, or I mechanically did, but we didn't actually actually rest. act it okay. out. Okay. Yeah. So I think we. I'm assuming it's late in the anyway, so we should we should rest here for the night, and then we can head back in the morning. We should, um, Assuming we're allowed to stay for the night. Yeah. Probably um, keep eyes on things. Not the safest place. Set up a watch. Yeah. Hmm. Faith uh, says, I I'll watch. Okay. Not been getting much sleep lately, anyway. <sighs> I'll watch. I didn't. I, I'll, I'll help you. I, we can do two to a watch. I didn't. Okay. Uh, I didn't take a lot of damage. I'm just tired from uh, using my spells. I would like the last watch so I can get up and get the cauldron and feed everybody. Um, so... I'll take that watch with uh, with the shanty then. Yeah. Um. Do I be able to take the watch with Holler, actually? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, is, is, okay. I'll do the one after. Or before. Why don't you take the first one, and then uh, Barry and I can take the second one. Okay. Alright. Faith um, begins setting up the watch, and... Carefully eyes all the ongoings around the room. Most of the little animals scurry back to their burrows. Wait, 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 After cuddle puddles! Puppy. Cuddle puddles! <laughs> they have their own oh. little cuddle puddle, but they yeah. seem very grateful, or at least, for the hot stew that you gave them. And there is one certain cuddle puddle that's more private than the others, and that's possibly uh, Andy in this other, other white owl. Oh no. No. no Ooh! No, Andy and an owl sitting in a tree. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. K I S S I N G. Um, yeah. Oh, God, As owls we're gonna, tend to do. We're going to have to deal with eggs. The small wolf I'm gonna go they, find... kind of, they kind of hey. get closer to Guy's body and they seem to be, you know, Once boring spread... at the ground and. Then letting out these small little whimpers. I once uh, read a wizard's cookbook that suggested owls were a delicacy. That's awful! He was elven by the Sinar. skins of it. Sonar just gives you a deathly look. Hey, all I said was I read a book. Give me a while. I'm gonna, uh, sen sensing that there's some tension directed at me right now from certain members of the group, I'm gonna go try to find a space on my own to just mm. spend my oh. time. And Ajanti can kind of yep. find me what's time for our watch. Okay. Um, <clears throat> this watch goes by without much interruption. She finally wakes you up, Holler, and says, Oh, um, it's your watch now. Okay. Uh, um, thanks. I assume everything was quiet? 
Yeah, yeah, no, nothing happened. Um, the moose is guarding the, the door to Avison's tomb as well. Maybe for us, maybe for her, I'm not sure. And these wolf cubs, they seem to be huddled near Geist for some reason. Oh, maybe they're just cold? I don't know. Well, no, Ge Geist is even colder. I think they're just, they're not like right next to Geist. They're not like huddled up next to him. I mean, like they're like a f like two feet away, kind of in a, mm -hmm. in a pile, just like close by, but not actually. Maybe just, I don't know. <laughs> you get away with wolves, you know. As a weird wolf, she's not gone yet. She nods. Uh, let me go back, yeah. That's the plan. I don't know if. Yeah, that's the plan. Okay. She nods. And... Okay. Go right. It's alright. I'll try. I'll try as well. Nudge you awake. No. Oh. How's it going, Faith? Oh. I'm hanging in there. Mm. Best you can do in Icewind Dale, I guess. Hmm. Seems to be thinking long and hard about that statement. But eventually he sort of sits down in her own little fire. All right, you can talk to Hala if you like. Yeah. Well, find an area like we'll just be on the outskirts while everyone sleeps. Okay. Uh, if someone can move me over there, I don't have access to that. Hmm. I'm on the I'm on the map of ten towns. I don't know why. Oh. <laughs> but there we go. Um. Yeah, so what's going on? There's something that I've been thinking about uh, is back on the ship. And maybe okay. I, I'm just overthinking it, or maybe it's because I'm not the smartest, but when you were fighting Ghost Captain, mm -hmm. there's something about you taking off with your crew. Yeah. We didn't abandon him. We invited him to come with us, but he didn't want to. Mm. We were stuck in the ice, and we were running out of food. We had no hope of escape. No, we couldn't unlodge the the ship from where it had been trapped in the ice, and we told him that we needed to get out of there. And yeah. What he suggested, it almost came across different. Like, he's, he said, what happened to your crew? Like, as if you took over, but also that you were looking meaty on the bones. Um... Almost sounds like he was suggesting you were buried into them. That I was what? I didn't... Um, Did I kill them? Well... Not necessarily killed them, but... Ate them? Yeah. No. But then it got me thinking to like... When we were in Bremen the first time... We kind of had that sort of... Conversation of... If, if you had to eat someone, would you do it? And you and I seemed okay with it if it was for a means of survival. Look. I, I'm not judging if you did. I mean, I 
told you my story, didn't I? Of how I got trapped in a wall with one of my party members. You know, before I died. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh... I'm, I may have had to do the same thing. If that's what you did. Before I knew I would come back to life. Yeah. It's funny the things that you'll do to stay alive. Um... I mean, I if, don't... It, if it's just me, then don't tell the rest, but did you? I don't want to talk about it. It was that trek from the sea to Bremen, where I lost all of my crew. Not my crew, but, you know, I was part of that crew. They weren't mine. They were Jenna's. She was the first mate. He was the one we were all following. And I don't even know how long it was. But those weeks were the worst thing I can ever imagine. And... Practicality became something that we treasured <clears throat> on the way. I, Survival. I completely understand. I say I was locked in a trap that unfortunately I set off. And it locked both of us in. And uh, slowly uh, running out of air. And he was bleeding out and he died. It was a matter of hoping someone would come along. Eventually they didn't. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess someone did eventually, but she could have told me sooner that she was going to bring me back. The worst betrayal a person can do. But you do it. Literally. I'm not going to judge you for what you had to do to stay alive, to try to stay alive when you thought you were dying. Mm. Nor are you. But Between us, though. Don't tell the others. I don't want them to look at me differently. I get it. And I'll yeah. keep your secret too if you want. Yeah. Okay, Can we cool. just keep looking out into the snow for anything that may come along? Hmm. Yeah, there's um nothing really the the forest is now quieter than ever. Since you put to rest the spirit, <clears throat> the loggers are too afraid to come logging. It's just this deathly quiet forest. And your watch goes by, but um, as you come back in, you realize that uh, Faith is actually still awake. She hasn't been like listening in on your conversation or anything, but just sort of been staring into the fire, which is she sat across from Geist. She knows. can't tell if she's staring at. We can't can tell look. if she's staring at the fire or, or at Geist. We've never heard. It looks like as though something else is heavily weighing on her mind. Doesn't look like she reacts to you even kind of entering, in fact. I go up to her. Faith? Hmm. You need to rest. Oh. I... Even just yeah. lie down and close your eyes. I think that helps. Can you try? Yeah. Just for a little bit? Sure. Do you need my help? She looks at you. You mean your spells? Yeah. It'll put you to a sleep temporarily, but if you're already tired, it'll. It'll just help. 
Sure, yeah. If, if you can help. Yeah, and I cast sleep on her. Before I have my long okay. rest. I think, yeah. Probably is enough, unless you roll terribly. But she finally finds her rest and leans back into the kind of shrubbery <laughs> and just falls asleep. Um, next watch is uh, Shanti 607, I think. Yeah, I'll go get 607. Mm. I'll get uh, I'll get a Shanti. And uh, was there anything you guys wanted to discuss in your short rest or long rest? What? Um, I would like to ask 607. Um, are you okay? It's been that was a hard, hard day. I'm fine. Well, I noticed you one problem is solved. Two problems solved, actually. The banshee as well. I um. I noticed you slept away from everybody else. I didn't go after you to give you a little bit of time to be by yourself. Well, I think uh, I'm not uh, everyone's favorite right now. So. Well, That's fine. People, people get mad and they get over it. Or they get dead or, you know, life goes on. In what I'm trying to they say. Know, I, they know I do what's necessary. And I'm the one that'll do what's necessary when they can't. Or won't. And I I do absolutely appreciate that about you. I appreciate the fact that <clears throat> I know that if I were taken over by something like that or some evil spirit that you would you would do what was necessary. I would, I would hate to be corrupted like that. The just the thought of something living inside me and feeding up my inner just <laughs> makes me feel horrible. But um, I would do a thorough job on you. Yeah. Okay. Just promise me you take care of Bits. She's a good girl. She I'll do a thorough job on Bits as well. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm gonna ask Hollow to take bits then, because I don't want bits to die just because I die. Oh, wait, God. oh, what if bits is infected? I'm joking. Okay, okay. Uh, oh, ha, ha ha. All right, got it. Oh, okay, good. Um, so I have we... I have a comedy bone in myself, or <laughs> church chips. I'm not sure how it works. Um, so you're down with us trying to bring Geist back now that he's not infected? If that's what people want to do, I won't stand in the way. Well, I don't want to give away every bit of my gold, but, um, as, you know, I always want to make sure I've got enough to feed Andy and, and Bits, but, um, I, uh, I... I will contribute to bringing him back. Do you have enough to feed Andy and Bits? Yes. Yes, I have 454 gold on me right now. So if I put in 350 to the pot, that should help significantly and still leave me lots enough to take care of Bits and Andy if, if things go south. How much is it to feed them? Um, you know, it just seems to vary from town to town. Andy is damned good at hunting for herself. I've been really impressed with her ability. I mean, I'm looking over this totally, totally serene winter scene and thinking there is nothing living out there except those plants and they're all dormant. And suddenly she goes off my shoulder and swoops down and comes up with a vole. I would have bet money there was nothing out there, but her ability to find them in the snowbanks is truly astonishing. And oh, Bitsley just that's Andy. And that's Bitsley Andy covered. Just, just about anything. So she's a good girl. I'm. I'm. She's so 
calm about about everything and you know if it doesn't matter if I put fish stew or you know cooked vegetables in front of her she when she has a full belly she's just a happy dog well how about this since you will be you're planning to contribute to guys whatever let me cover the food for bits and for Andy for the next little bit until okay. that's I mean, sorted. You, you don't have to, but thank you. I appreciate the offer. Well, I'm not going to contribute to Geist Resurrection, so I'll do this instead. Okay. All right. I, I appreciate it. Speaking of food, it's getting late there. Watch. Um, I'm going to go get the cauldron out and start cooking so that we can feed all the little animals at least one more time before before we head out. That way, even though we're going to leave them, they'll we'll leave them with full bellies. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, over the course of this watch, uh, you notice Bits also kind of joins the little wolf cubs, sort of sits down next to them, and then kind of looks towards Geist with a sad expression. Um, as well, that would color. cement it for me. If Bits wants me to bring yeah. Geist back, I will bring Geist back. <laughs> I mean, yeah. uh, if, if, if uh, unless Bits is looking sad because, you know, Geist has something she wants, but I don't think so. He's not holding a stew bone. Hmm. Uh, hello, then. So... During the night, your dreams become wild and restless again. Feels as though it's sort of happening all over again. The same sort of dream. You are floating. You're not sure where you are. It's night. What you can see is like stars all around you. And then suddenly those stars are awash with an aurora and you feel yourself falling gliding down towards a mountainside again you feel that kind of impact as you scrape barely past a mountain edge and kind of go into into a into a, like a nosedive and that's when you feel your body kind of collide with the earth with a, forming a great crater um, even though you feel like you've fallen from the heavens it's not like there's a like a burning sensation on you in fact actually it feels like you're freezing to death rather than burning up and you try to move your body but it is far too broken you can feel some of your insides actually kind of like Almost splitting open. Almost feels like parts of you have, have crawled out. Like limbs are trying to crawl away in, in the in the snow and get to safety and shelter. And as you lay there, you only lose more and more of your strength. Unable to move, it feels like the cold numbs your body. And slowly you don't even have the strength to hold your eyes open. They are falling asleep. But you try one last time in vain to kind of cry out for help. And again, it kind of feels like this pulsing headache at the front of your mind. And every time you cry out for help, there's a pulse in your head. It sort of feels like a pressure right at the forefront of your mind. And uh, for those who are on this watch, 607 and Ashanti, you notice kind of Hala, like, perhaps, like rolling around and like, like calling out, like, help, help, like in their sleep. And um, eventually they kind of slowly, like, almost just, it almost looks like they pass away in their sleep, almost. But go over and check pepper? them. <laughs>
I, I will actually go over and check because no no, yeah. no 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 six or seven. Why don't you let me? I'm just check. I'm just checking. I'm just checking. She's she's got that ghost in her now, right? We don't know what's going on there. No, we don't. But you need to. Uh, since I was already starting breakfast, why don't mm -hmm. you keep standing watch to make sure that nothing is trying to slip in while we're distracted? And I'll go check her since I, I was already I was already settling in for the morning routine. Fine, I'll go and not poison the food. Woo! I know you won't do that, because that would kill off all of our axe beaks. You're far too practical for that. So I'll go check on it on Hala. Mm -hmm. Um, and, she is um, a little bit colder than usual, even though she's right next to the fire. It's almost as though, yeah, the ghost is sort of chilling her to the touch. But she is awake. Uh, if you if you can like tap her awake, it's like very shallow breathing. And say oh. hey. You okay? Yeah, is it, is it uh, <clears throat> time to get up? No, no, you were just thrashing in your sleep, and 607 oh. and I were a little worried because you were out, you were shouting help, so. Um, oh, uh, uh, must okay? have been, must have had a bad dream or something with uh, you got a few everything that happened to guys. No. N nothing's happened. Every Geist is, is still is still where he is, where we placed him. Um, he's fine, um, and everybody's still asleep. I'm co I'm going to start breakfast, but you've got a few more minutes to sleep, and I am going to reach over, take her hand, and I'm going to sing her an Orcish lullaby that my grandmother used to sing to me. Wow. Oh. That's okay. Really kind, Ashanti. Thank you. I don't I, know that song, but it's pretty. I can't carry a tune in a bucket, so it may not be kind. But you know, it's it's well thought. It, it's well meaning. No, it's uh yeah. I don't feel. It helps. I think I don't feel as weird anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm fine. I'm fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna go finish breakfast, and you try to rest a little bit longer, and soon you'll, th you'll have warm food in your belly. Okay. Yeah, sounds good. Please. Sounds cool. Thank you. I'm sure, Hala, that you are appreciative of many a shanty and song, and uh, yeah, kind of does help ease your mind um, in this moment and collect your. As you're collecting your thoughts, uh, can you give me an intelligence saving throw, but with advantage? Um, sure. That's a uh, natural uh, 20, minus one. Yeah, you felt a little bit muddled uh, before waking up. Everything was still a, almost like, not sure if it was a dream or reality, but it felt real and you still got kind of like that pain in your shoulder you still feel the cold numb in your body your eyes feel heavy but ashanti's song seems to have helped bring you back to reality and clear yourself uh, of this pounding headache which you, you kind of send to the back of your mind it's not important right now like trying to stay focused on what's in front of you but there's too much going on. that's two days in a row okay hmm. yeah two yeah. days in a row with the same nightmare yeah that's good um all right i think with that you you've all finished a, sh a long rest um faith still looks a little bit groggy she probably lost an hour of sleep but or if you don't wake her up <laughs> maybe she gets a, a, a bit of a lay in but uh yeah, it's a new day you guys can decide what you wish to do So, um, Shall we go kill ourselves a thing and spy? And grab a drink along the way. As a disguise. I am right. down with killing a, a, a spy. I, I would like to kill somebody that I know is a bad guy. Let's uh -huh. try not to do it in front of a lot of people, though. 
because they are a barkeep. So we right. either need to persuade them to go out into the woods and look into the sunrise or sunset or, or we need to get permission to offer from the speaker. You think the speaker knows or is unaware of her status? I think the speaker probably doesn't know. Or if the speaker does know, then they're probably afraid of them. But I, I don't know. Do we do we want to just try and do this secretly, or do we want to speak to the speaker first and get permission to deal with the situation? You th I mean, speaker seemed like a kind of a homey, nice person. Didn't seem all that. Um, I don't know, vengeful about spies? I have a feeling that if we ask her, she might not go for it. Don't you think? Yeah. Why do we have to ask permission? Well, Why can't we so... just, in say, inform them this is what's happening, this is what's going to happen, yeah. keep everybody away while we do our job? More so keeping on the good side of the speakers. Or at least the good speakers. She doesn't seem like she's one of the corrupt ones. Speaking of which, we have to go that. take care of Shander Froth at some point. We do. We definitely need to deal with Shander Froth at some point. <clears throat> but um, at the moment, so we we're agreeing one way or another. We want to speak to the speaker first, and and yeah. either get permission or without permission. Be like, listen, this is a problem. We're going to deal with it. As long as we're sure the speaker won't mm, give our plan away. Yeah. Or do we want to... This is probably what guys would do, to be fair. Do we want to try and get evidence on the barkeep to show the speaker? Which would mean sneaking into the barkeep's quarters. We will they be stupid speaking? enough to yeah will they be stupid enough to leave evidence if i were a spy I, w I would certainly not leave evidence where i live you'll be surprised the, um well there's usually evidence but they um i can imagine it'd be very hidden I like the like like when we found that gold that got us jailed in East Haven. Yeah, that turned out great for everybody. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say it was not a good adventure. Um, yeah, yeah. Although, although that was a speaker's home, not a barkeep's home. What are they gonna do? Ban us from the bar? I mean, Barkeep makes sense because they are, people come and go out of there all the time. People talk. So, right. People sit at tables, people talk, people come and go. You could exchange messages easily. So I wouldn't keep anything there, but what, what do I know about spying? You know, only the tales that, you know, old Macaulay told us around the campfire. Yeah. I mean, so, it's uh, worth a try, maybe. And if we don't come up with anything, then we just straight up speak to the speaker and just be like, yeah, we're killing this okay. person. I don't see how that's going to go down well, but yeah. Sounds like we have a plan. Let's execute hmm. it. Voice of words. Yeah. Okay. Do we want to take Geist with us or uh, leave Geist here so that we can, because um, we're going to have to come back and prove that the deed is done, right? Ella? Yeah. And I, I'm not I sure guess. about dragging a body. Right. <laughs> town. It would really help our case if we dragged a dead body into town and said, hey, we want to do more of these. <laughs> <laughs> 
think we can trust. Um, Gavin? Gavin, are you... Can you hear me? Yes. If we left our companion's body behind, could you and the wolf cubs watch over it while we go try to bring justice um, to Lonelywood? What if... What if we Very brought well. Gavin with us? I will not step into that <laughs> town. Oh, okay. I was thinking, like, if if we explain the situation with you there backing us up and saying, well, you're going to stop killing people so long as we deal with this person, then maybe they would be more open into it. Or they think we've gone daft and we're under mind control by him and shoot him. So... I like your plan better. If they, were, I, I, if they were opposed, would you still continue with your plan? I mean, we can and God to, don't we? Then we why do you tally? Why do we tally? As in, like, parents? I'm not sure what we're counting either, but okay. Do you mean yeah. Terry? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I definitely heard Tally. I did too. Okay. Um, I'm okay. saying if you're going to announce your murder and they are opposed, but you plan to murder them anyway, what was the point in telling them? He's got a point. Why don't we just do the murder? Do you need yeah, that permission? I like you more and more. I like you more and more. It's keeping on, on the good side making them understand why it needs to be done. What if we told them at the same time that we do the murder? This is about science. This is about vengeance. Is that in Hala's head only? That is, is mostly that Hala's Hala? head, yeah. It is Hala, okay. but they can choose to speak through Hala if they wish. In this case, I'm not going possessed. to. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm going to keep it to myself unless there's interesting or stuff to share, and I'm not totally convinced of the plan, but um, yeah, and, and... I think I think just we, if we tell them in advance, then we save ourselves from being prosecuted, persecuted, whatever, prosecuted, mm. you know, attacked by the law after it happens. I think Don't... that could be both persecuted and prosecuted. Right, okay. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome, Hala. <laughs> anyway. Um, um, okay. Yeah. I guess at this point for our walk back through the forest is probably where Gavin won't go any further. Uh -huh. Yep. Um, before we you... leave, I want to cast Gentle Repose on the corpse. Yes. Protect Do it I from know. decay. All right. Yep. For the next ten days, Guy's body will not decay, held in a sort of suspended animation. Mm -hmm. All right. And you head over towards the Lucky Liar in town, or are you heading to the Speaker's house first, or are you heading to the Ramshackle to? I don't know. I think you check. Oh, didn't you put some supplies in here or something? You were going to stable the axe beaks, I think, but you took them yeah. with you in the end, right? Yes. So let's go stable the axe beaks first. Okay. Yeah. Um. Um. The the white lady so... tells you the same thing that it told Geist when they entered here, and that is that. There is strange spiritual energy here. Yeah, okay, but can you tell me more? <laughs> the wind doesn't move the noose. Okay, guys. Um, the white lady just pointed out something. Uh, the noose isn't moving in the wind. And I think she thinks it's ghosts. Oh, is it are. just frozen or is it ghosts? I I'm gonna walk up to the noose and try to bat it with my stick to see if it's just frozen. 
Yeah, we, we, <laughs> we forgot we were going to come back when it was dark, and then we got sidetracked by a talking moose. Moose in the noose. Uh, there is a peculiar noose hanging from behind the bar, and uh, maybe... Six zero seven is the best isn't the best person to be telling this, but it seems almost a bit macabre that <clears throat> if someone did take their life here, why would they just leave the noose hanging? If there's no body, it obviously means that somebody came here and cleaned up. Why would they leave this? Hmm. It didn't move when I batted it? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, it's a okay. real news. Okay. What maybe uh, maybe it's maybe it's a warning sign. It's like, hey, mess with me, and 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 you know, you're you're up. It's already it's already set up. What if like um, we need to like either come back at dark or what if we need to reenact whoever got hung here? Oh, good. So one of you go hang yourselves. Yeah, so that'll work out great. What? I was Why? thinking about like let's, let's... the one with right, that let's... neck. I think let's leave this mystery for later. We're, we're aware we can... of it, but I think we need to we focus the... on. But the news. I think we need to focus on our our main objective. We're, we're getting distracted, like children. Uh, every, every, every time we start towards something, then we go, ooh, shiny and, and water off the other direction. <laughs> so let's head to, we've sh we have stapled the axe beaks, let's head the, to the bar and see what we can learn. The noose is at the bar, is, isn't it? It, it? This is a different bar. This is an abandoned inn. Oh, it's a different bar. Okay. Inn. The lucky liar is the one with the, with the spy. Um, However, okay. you say we've stapled the axe beaks, but they seem to be pulling at the reins, they are stomping their feet and squawking incessantly, trying to get out of out of here. Right. Paula or Faith, do you have some way to, to detect ghosts? Like um, detect good and evil or something? Or okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm we can't stable them here unless we deal with this situation. I mean no, because they're not gonna be able to rest. They're gonna be so fidgety, they'll run away. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna put uh -huh. I'm gonna put the noose on me and see if it causes oh God, any reaction. No, no. Okay, I'm I'm oh standing directly underneath him yeah. in case do anything it. goes wrong. Do it. I do, can, it. do it. Do it. And I've I, got I, the axe ready to cut the noose if I need to. Good lord. I, can, I have a okay. I have a firebolt ready to shoot, guys. I uh, no, shoot. Sorry, guys. Jesus. <laughs> Don't slip try there. to kill him. <laughs> to shoot Barry right. in case he like becomes possessed or something. Okay, that's oh. fine. Uh. Barry, you climb mm -hmm. up, deep sigh, having to balance on one of these tables, mm -hmm. put your head inside the noose, and uh, you wait for just a moment longer. Mm -hmm. Then it's this checking a little bit. sharp, a sharp breeze or wind rushes in and around the the inn, and suddenly you see the door kind of behind you slam and shut. That's what we're after. <laughs> Faith okay. looks okay. disturbed as well. Can Ashanti uh, take a swing at the noose with her halberd and try to cut it down? Uh, no, 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 wait. Hold off. And I'll just... I'm still... I'm, I'm not actually hanging yet. I'm still stood on the table, yeah. right? Or... That's right. And I just hold on for an, a bit what a bit longer just to see if anything else happens maybe you need to actually hang yourself not to be disturbing or anything but maybe you need to actually dangle take a deep breath and i kick off oh, my God, oh jesus no Barry, um, for <laughs> I, I hold my arms out to, to like basically be like God. it's okay I move move to hold to hold him up from below. Okay. I aim, I'm, uh, I'm aiming like a like a sniper rifle. I'm aiming one of my sticks, my walking sticks, at him. Does it does okay. it cause a all right? Does it cause so a reaction. This, this is what all right. So everyone's got something going on right now. But Barry, as soon as you kick off from the table, uh, absolutely, you feel the the tightening of the rope around your neck, like come incredibly 
it, it, it like almost squeezes all the air out of your out of your um your neck your instinct to sort of breathe in is suddenly like stifled and you just can't even manage a gasp and then hello you rush over you grab his legs to hold him to prevent him from choking and uh, normally that would do it like all the weight on his neck would then be relieved however you see the rope sort of coil up contort and yank up higher into the into the beam. Oh, no. you see there is a dancing light nearby that's giving some light and yet you don't see any figure standing on the beams like pulling this thing but you see Barry suddenly is like as he takes a breath for just a moment suddenly he begins to choke and strangled again a second time uh, now I can I swing at it with my glaive or my halberd uh, cut the rope cut the rope cut the rope um one sec I would like <laughs> Barry, that what? I would do <laughs> one sec I would like, okay. I would like to bump onto the table with my step. oh my god okay and then that's my bonus action, and with my action, I want to cast Fairy Fire ab above the, the noose. Interesting. Okay. Try and re um, reveal whatever's okay. pulling me up. Fairy had a plan. Uh, yeah, uh, you cast. make sure you cast a spell, and uh, we'll see what happens. The, Is it uh, an AoE? You have to target something for Fairy Fire. Oh, it's a 20 foot cube, okay. And okay. if it's in that area, then it'll be potentially saving. We'll we'll roll it. Oh, there's there's something up there. That doesn't yeah, look good. Fix. <laughs> yeah, that's a fail. Um, oh, guys, you see, you're, as you're choking out for a brief moment, you did actually see like some kind of vision happening before you, but. That it's quickly cut short as you jump up onto the table here and cast this spell. And as the light scintillates into the air, you see an outline beginning to form. This creature is is there up in the up in the rafters. It is a human man. Seems to be kind of his late forties, kind of a beard. He looks native to Icewind Dale. Um he looks incredibly tired like he hasn't seen any sleep sunken eyes and unkempt hair uh he seems to be wearing like an apron as well like this this guy looks like he w works in a bar and then suddenly his eyes kind of lock on you barry and you see that he too has a noose around his neck but his isn't cut his is like still trailing off and you see probably just the tail end of it because your spell is just illuminating the creatures but there is almost like this tethered ghostly strangled hold on this on this ghost that's wrapped around the beam and i need everyone seeing this to roll initiative <laughs> this is like the old bartender or something <clears throat> i'm just holding on to my neck right now <laughs> uh uncomfortable why did it roll Twice. Uh, I don't know. Oh, the ghost rolled low. It did. Um, it mostly used. Oh, the drift. Oh, the drift. Used... The drift globe rolled one. I don't know why. Okay. Uh, you, you see, this ghost has tried to strangle you once, Barry, and then, uh, as soon as it's caught off guard with this this spell, it's lit up. It looks around, watches you, and then I wave. Look, there's a. It sort of has this almost sad look upon its face when it looks at you, Barry. But then, as everyone else begins to draw weapons, especially like looking at Ashanti, there's this deep, glowering, angry expression that just <gasps> wants to murder you, Ashanti. And Hala, it's your turn first. You see it like uh, basically lunge forward towards them. Okay, I cast a Sacred Flame. Okay. That is a fail of the dexterity saving throw. Okay. Uh, and right. that's my first instinctive shot out is spiritual energy. Okay. Uh, doesn't like orcs very much, Shanti. Watch out. 
uh, all the animals begin to freak out. They're all, all trying to like stampede, stampede outside the door, but there is. They don't seem to be able to have hands to open the door, and Faith, like, the animals have gone wild! Uh, shit! She turns and sees the ghost, of course. Deal with the animals. Okay. She's gonna try and use, like, calm emotions on them, effectively. But, uh, Ashanti, you're up. Okay, um. I am. Should have is advantage Barry on my. Hanging from the ceiling? Because I thought you said mm. his rope was trailing off, or was that the ghost rope trailing off? Uh, there is, there's two ropes. One is a physical rope, and one looks like a spectral one. Um, okay. Barry, you said you were, you teleported up to somewhere, didn't you? Uh, I teleported. Um, he's on the table. Yeah, yeah the you're back up on the table. the table. Yeah. Okay, there you go then. So Barry isn't okay. choking anymore. Okay, but... Bill, I want to get that thing off him. Um, so I would like to take a... I don't know how to target it. He te teleported Barry, a... right? So he, he's yeah. not in the, the noose. noose isn't, he's, he's not in the noose anymore. Okay. Yeah. Um, but still, I think if I cut the noose down, that, that okay. ghost may go away. That, uh, so okay. I'm trying to get the noose down. Yep, so sure thing. how do I target something I can't see. Or can uh, I just you roll can just say, for just roll to an, thing? Yeah, that's right. Just roll an attack. And if it's above like a 10, we'll say it hits. And um, okay. it's kind of, it is like dangling around back and forth, swinging. But uh, you managed to catch it on the backswing. And with one clean swipe, you chop the rope. Now, the spirit that you see um, looking around, it doesn't appear as though they are at all affected like the rope that's still wrapped around them it doesn't seem to cut the ethereal looking one and it's, it's i will okay. say I'm this gonna, though go, go yeah i'm gonna turn around as soon as i i uh, the cut the rope is cut i'm gonna grab it turn around throw it to 607 and say burn it hmm. oh yeah. hey I mean, right. it's it's worth a try if we can destroy its connection to the material plane. Then it may just go away on its own. All right, you do see but that's though, that's as... my action. So I've I've yep. made an attack and I've used my free action to grab it and throw it to six zero seven, and shout um, burn it, and that that will be my action. Okay. Um, as you cut this rope you do see this ghostly figure try to shout out something to you, trying to tell you something, but all you can hear is this kind of choked sound, like someone struggling to breathe like... that's all you can hear though um, okay. Barry, it's your turn um oh yeah I apologize, but um, we need to move on. And now, um, Eldritch Blay your stick away from okay. me. Okay, go for it. Yeah, that's a hit. Well, one damage. <laughs> ten feet back. Ten feet slot. Okay. Um, um, that was very good damage. Sure, sure. Was. I guess it kind of just shows uh, that he, he, he feels sorry for the ghost and doesn't. Yeah. Really well. you, you kind of blast them away and they turn around in anger towards you as well. Uh, six or seven. Might your turn. Onto the keg. Sure thing. Uh, okay, well, I was instructed to burn the rope, so I'm going to try to burn the rope. Okay. Um, yeah, easy enough to do if you light a torch or something. I can. Can I use prestidigitation? Will that be good enough, or do I need to like firebolt it or something? Think you would need like fireball. I think prestidigitation doesn't set fire to things, or control flames does, but it lights fires. Yes. Oh, yeah, okay. I thought it lit, lit a candle. You, okay, you could light the. You could light the. Um, 
I can light a torch and hold. I can light a torch with it and then put it towards it or something. Yeah. Yeah. There's also a fire pit here in the center of the room. Okay. Just I guess I'll do it. Toss it in. That's a good idea. There it is. Okay. So I'll I'll throw the rope in and press the digitation to light a fire. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. The kindling immediately (sighs) erupts in fire. And you see the, the, the rope burn, sizzle, and it is very quick to burn away. It's like all kind of frayed. Um, the, the, the rope around the ghost's neck dissipates as though we're just a mist clinging to them like a scar. However, you still hear a choking sound coming from them. And you can barely make out perhaps some words in amongst it. Um... Just, just sort of like a. Oh, oh, that's me. Oh. You need to get to the rope off of him. Around. We could there have a ghost no on our team. Them, hey, James, do you want to play a ghost? Is your next character? Also, this is hard to describe, but he's not like, he his hands aren't bound. They are actually grabbing up at something, but where he's grabbing, it's not around his neck where you'd expect a rope. He's grabbing something kind of near his neck, like, but it's invisible, whatever it is. You can see his, his hands are both kind of locked in a vice-like grip around two things. But it's not, there is no rope anymore. No rope in physicality and no rope in the spiritual realm where you see his neck and yeah he oh. still seems to be choking um it is the ghost it is um, can the fire be going so i can see better yeah that is the fire it's it's good oh that's the fire good like 40 foot range on it oh, but okay. um okay all right and I'll move. I don't, there is okay. a pillar in the way that kind of blocks it oh that's what I, okay so i'll just move so i can see the ghost again a little bit yeah so you kind of backed up barry the ghost is actually going to, in fact, go for... Hmm. I think it's going to go for Ashanti. Um, can no. you give me a... Yep, it's going to go for them. No, not possession. It's, it's like, as you cut the rope, it's like trying to tell you something and yet cannot. I need you to make a charisma saving throw. Because I... Like this. Not again. I'm sorry, I had to step away for half a second, turn off an alarm. Am I supposed to make oh. a saving throw? Yes, please, yeah, you're getting possessed. <laughs> Stepped away oh. for a moment and the ghost jumped in. Oh. That quick moment oh. of lapse. Uh, oh. Let me just check. Uh, yeah, 12 is a fail, I'm afraid. Oh no. There, oh, um. Man. I'm afraid, yeah, this, this is not the first time I don't think you've been possessed, right? This is like no, one of your all time horrors. I know, this oh, is God. the first time. Is um, it? No, the white lady. No, not the white lady. Was it the. Oh, it was the white lady! Uh, yes, it no. was. I thought mm-hmm. that was. Okay. Yeah, no, uh, do you remember? The was in the no, East actually, Haven, I East Haven really Town Hall. I, I, I did not realize she took over me. Um, okay. Oh yeah, you uh, went into a bloodthirsty rage. But um, at this point, Ashanti, as soon as the ghost possesses you, you, you are choking. You feel like something is, is like thrashing you around, and your eyes kind of roll back into the into the back of your skull for a moment. And as you're wrestling to try and get control, you suddenly lurch forward, like almost like your back and like bends all the way over and then suddenly back again. And you see all around you, instead of your friends, instead of Hala and and Baratomus, you see individuals dressed in yellow capes. You see that they are sporting a design, a a serpentine-like design. And one of them, right next to you, the one which would be Hala, has both of its its hands grabbed around your throat, strangling you to death. Oh. 
Mm. And we go back to the top of the round. It is Hullers go. Oh, he was he was asphyxiated I'm... before he was hung. I would like to hold my action. I'm going to cast a Sacred Flame as soon as I see the uh, the ghost coming out of Ashanti. But I don't mm-hmm. want to hit her directly. I'm staying close. Oh. I'm a, as you're being thrashed around on the on the floor, Ashanti, by these these ghostly figures, you see actually where six or seven is off standing to the side. There is someone watch like over what like overseeing this, like watching from the shadows, and um, looks like a woman with her arms kind of folded and sort of a sneer on her face. But well, that's everything. Anyway, uh, Hala, you're. Uh, gonna hold your action. Faith is up. She rushes back over. Um, what's happening? Uh, I thought he's been Sean. possessed he by the ghost. Kind of rushes. Oh, okay. In fact, then in that case, she will also hold a sacred flame. Um, Ashanti, you have, you have all the instinct to fight back. Just everything you can. You can you're th- you're fighting for your own survival against these yellow cloaked thugs. Okay, um, can I still rage? Oh yeah, oh fully. If anything, okay, you would absolutely like to... be raging in this moment. The very first thing I'm going to do is rage. Usability. All right, so that gives me some. Mm-hmm. Who I am? Do I know who who I am? You try to or think of been... who you are. Your very presence, your very like concept of being, has been completely shifted. This feels like you are being murdered in this, and and the the entire. You look around the tavern. It looks completely different as well. Everything about this okay. scene is is different. Hold on, let me show you actually. I'll show you what exactly you're seeing. Oh. All, all the tables are neatly arranged. Uh, yeah, all the bars, um, normal kind of decoration is out. Uh, there's well-lit candles in here. Everything is, like, bright. And yet what's happening right in front of you is is anything but bright. Is the darkest hour for your life right now. You're being throttled by this... Uh, okay. This individual right here. Uh, one next to me. Yeah, that one. But I don't <laughs> know that I'm Ashanti, right? You feel as though you are. Your name is Garrett. You not Garrett? Sorry, fuck. <laughs> What's his name? Um, De Groots. De Groots is is your name. De Groot? And you've been trying De Groots, and you've been trying to hide away from these 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 kind. You've been fearing the day. They finally find okay. you. And um, they found me. And I am oh, yeah. going to adrenaline dash, adrenaline rush out the door. You cannot. You're like restrained on the floor being choked out by this thug right here. He's like literally strangling you to death right now. Okay. So I... um. I think you're going to attack this guy. If I can't can't run, then I'll hide. All right, so I am... You can't. You're, like, grappled. So you're, like, your speed is... Imagine someone is over you, grabbing you against the floorboards and pushing their thumbs into your windpipe. That's what's happening right now. But suddenly you feel the strength to overpower him, and you have a glaive suddenly in your hand. You have no idea where that came from, but... You can attack this guy. I need you to. I need you to roll an attack against Hollow. I'm sorry. And yeah, you can make uh, it reckless. <clears throat> You're possessed. I'm afraid. It's there is no control. Um, it's gonna be. Uh... No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna choose reckless. And if mm. she is right on top of me. And I roll, and I use the halberd. I think I use it with disadvantage, don't I? Because it's a reach weapon, and she's right next to me. There's two things happening. There's one that's in your mind, what's happening, 
and then there's two what's actually happening in reality in reality Ooh. it's just Hala standing there and you're standing there with a glaive in your mind you're actually on the floor you're grappled and restrained you don't think you have the movement to get up and you would think that you would have disadvantage for being prone but in reality you're striking at Hala full force um, oh, Hala, you take smart. eight points of slashing damage, and in fact, a bit more than that, because you've got bl slicing. So, another three. There it is. Uh, yeah, so... You feel like you can get this guy off of you, but only if you just stab... If, only if you stab him one more time, but unfortunately that's going to be your go. Barry, you're up. Um... <clears throat> uh... Yeah, what now? <laughs> uh, yeah, I hear this me. An I mean, honest to God, I've got tons of points. I'm one? a barbarian. I'm, I'm raging. Gonna, yeah. Hit me. I'm gonna go over here. Oh. And I am going to. Um. Oh, thank God. Yes. Go to sleep. Please. You think that's gonna, you think that's gonna put them to sleep? No, that's not a drift club. Um, 30, I've been put to a sleep, apparently. I'm mean, <laughs> zero hit points all of a sudden. You're drift club and you are connected. Is yeah, it, was it the drift club? It, it, it is your brain. It's, suppose, uh, it's supposed to follow no. me. It's supposed to follow it me ignore, though. Just ignore all that. What, what did you roll? Yeah, 35. Drift club over 20. 35. Oh yeah, it is my How brain. much HP have you got, Ashanti? 35, exactly. Oh! I have relentless endurance. So, well, it, it, it doesn't, if I die... Yeah. It's not it doing doesn't, damage. Yeah, it's not doing damage, it's just putting you to sleep, so... Okay, mm. I am fine with that. Now you're asleep so. with the ghost inside you. That's um, better than being awake quite. and moving and hurting my friends. I'm just checking here. Um, it says if, if a creature is immune to charm, right? <clears throat> Doesn't affect it. Um, so, is, it, is it a charm? It's a charm, yeah. 100% it is. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, though, obviously Ashanti isn't. Yeah, Ashanti itself. isn't. So it doesn't put the ghost to sleep, but it puts Ashanti to sleep. Mm -hmm. The ghost is still mm -hmm. awake in the But the ghost will have to come out. It's not targeted by any attacks, but on other effects. An immunity being channeled a friend. The ghost can't be targeted by any attacks, but or other effect except ones that turn undead, and it retains its alignment, intelligence, wisdom, charisma, and immunity to being charmed and frightened. Ooh. I'm not targeting the ghost. I'm targeting the shanty. Okay, I know that. Oh. We aren't targeting anybody. It's a safe. It's a safe for the creatures that are in the space, right? So the ghost can happily come yes. out. I'm reading. Reading on possession. Yeah. yeah. One humanoid it sees within five feet makes a save or be possessed. The target is incapacitated and loses the control of its body. The ghost is now controls the body and doesn't deprive the target of awareness. The ghost can't be targeted. Blah 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 blah. And can't be charmed is, is what you're saying. Um, oh, you're saying whether or not it, it affects the possession, because the shanti could be asleep and still possessed. Right, they're incapacitated and possessed technically. So I'll tell you what. Um, that goes my plan. I'm gonna. I mean, it's a good plan. I'll flip a coin in this instance because it is a bit of a, a gray area, and I'm gonna say on evens it works, on odds it doesn't. And the, the the ghost is basically puppeteering your incapacitated body. <laughs> okay, amazing. all right, you got your wish. Um, th what you see is Ashanti just slumps to the floor, in a pile. The ghost is still hovering there though, over their body. And um, Ashanti, you're now definitely I am unconscious. fine. I'll t I'll take that. Okay. All my right. my sacred flame should go off in phase two. Yeah, go ahead and roll those. Oh, that's not a... <clears throat> There's a saving throw. Okay, well, yeah, it takes that radiant damage. Uh, succeeds on the other one. Alright. Did... 
much did it take? How much damage did you do there? Seven damage. Oh, it took seven. Yeah, it took seven. Yeah. Nice. Good, good. Uh, the ghost no longer in Ashanti, so I'll just get rid of that. Uh, it begins to hover up into the air, looking around perhaps for its next uh, victim, but Ashanti's just asleep. You can use an action to wake them up if you wish, but that's their go. Six or seven, you're up. Well, that's a good thing that worked, because we just had a conversation about if Ashanti was possessed, that I was going to kill her. <laughs> so, that's she okay. got lucky there. Jesus. I am perfectly, <laughs> we, perfectly I didn't fine. know this was going to happen. Like, we had the conversation like 20 minutes ago. Uh, I'm just reading it on something. Okay, um, so where's the ghost? Can I see the ghost? Yes, you can. I don't know where he is. Uh, it's, is, it's, is, oh, it's just, it's just above far. Ashanti? Yeah, it is above. It's over their body. Ashanti's on the ground, below the bar. And where these tables are, are there's, there's no wall here, right? I can see sort of no. through to the back area here. Okay. Correct, yeah. Okay, so... Yeah. The only thing blocking your vision is this kind of big pillar here. <clears throat> Yeah, I just I just wanted to make sure because I, I thought that was a, for some reason I thought that was a wall in a doorway where Hulla is, um, but I guess not. I am going. Uh, da, 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 it's touch spell. See, I'm gonna prove how good I am to the people of this party. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't get close enough. I'm <laughs> 35 feet away. I can't get close enough. Um, well, that doesn't help. Um, we can get a drift globe back out here. What happened to them? Or drift globe? Um, there you go. It's just, just, oh, you're out of range. Oh, well. I was going to help you. And now I can't. What was that? You're, you're gonna help. I was gonna help you. I was gonna oh. help you. Yeah, but you're you're just, you're five feet too far. Oh. I can't get. I can't touch you. I need to be able to touch you. Um. Actually, you know what I can do? Because I'm so good, I'm gonna use my action to dash, to get with to move the extra five feet. Yep. I'm going to use sorcery points so I can use a bonus action to cast protection from evil and good on Hulla so she can't be possessed. Nice. Thank okay. you. Ooh, excellent. Which is uh, just in time because I rerolled possession. Uh oh. Uh, so that's that. And then that's my action. And then I have another 25 feet. So that was 35, I can go 60 total, right? So 60 gets me back up with uh, next next to Faith there. Okay. And um, I think that's all I can do. Action, bonus action, yeah. Okay, cool, perfect. Um, the creature recoils from Hala's presence, certainly, uh, provoking an attack of opportunity from you. Okay, sounds good to me. We just have... got your mace, right? Um, yeah, I'll swing with my warhammer. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, yeah, that's a hit. It's ghost. Okay. It sort of passes through them points. a little bit, but you do see it kind of almost as if you're swishing through kind of a smoke trail. It does sort of kind of swirl around a little bit as if it has taken some damage, but. Not a lot. Okay, a uh, Shanti's still asleep. Um, it's it's a non-magical okay. weapon, right? So it's ghost probably not going to do too much damage on it. Yeah, yeah. Let's see if I can That's get to you, Barry. That's what Barry. I thought. <laughs> Radi <laughs> Radiant damage is your friend. That's why I got the one spell that does that. Okay, you feel a strong necrotic presence hovering near you, Barry. It tries to enter into your mind. Give me a... Hold on, actually. One sec. There we go. Give me a charisma save. Okay, I'm good with these. I, I think. Mm -hmm. 
Oh my god. Unless wait, you roll wait, a three. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. The pact. <laughs> the pact. <laughs> Please be a four. Please be a four. It's, it's a three. Oh no. It's, it's 12. A, is that a fail? That's, a, that's exactly what Hala, uh, Ashanti got last time when they failed, yeah. Oh. Just barely. Okay. Oh, it's like a 13 or something then, maybe. You begin to see exactly the same thing that I described to Hala. Uh, sorry, Ashanti. The the inn is all well made up. You can see there's um, he's just feed, finishing for the night by the looks. All the doors have closed. The candles are being extinguished, but... um. Here in the back of the kitchen, it seems as though the the back door has been like kicked in. And you can see the thugs like pouring through it. These yellow caped, almost assassins, come to to kill you. Um, one of them has like this symbol of a, a black snake. Um, Let me guess on their on their chest. Mm. This this one is holding something to garrote me. I'm guessing. Yep. You see your allies as these guys who are circling around you. It feels like you just got away for a moment, like you kicked them off of you and you've managed to break some distance and one of them's getting back off the floor and uh, going towards you and trying to strangle you again. Um, yeah, another person is tying up a noose onto the beam to make it look like uh, that's how you die. Like it's clearly someone's framing your suicide right now. And you need to get the hell away from them. Um, what if, what if we just let it happen, like that episode of Buffy? Mm. Uh, like, what no, if, we... what if, what if it's like processing the thing? Remember that episode of Buffy where there's the thing, there's like the ghost reenacting a murder, and they just have to let it play out. Is this what like, like a, is this like a theater play you watched? No, Buffy the Vampire Buffy. Slayer, the TV show. There's TVs in this room. Oh my god, I'm out of, out of character. Barry, you, <laughs> you are being choked as well, Barry. You, well, actually, I guess not in this moment. But you feel like someone was choking you just a moment ago. You can barely breathe, you're like wheezing. Anyway, hello, it's your go. Alright, um, I'm going to still target the ghost. Hmm. And I don't know if the ghost is still targeted, I can't see it. Um, you can't target the ghost, but, um, oh, it's but inside I, Barry. I would have, it's inside Barry? Mm-hmm. Uh, if I cast protection on evil and good, will it, will mm -hmm. it, um, remove yeah. The, yeah. the, the possession that's already in place? Yes, it says on the spell, um, the target cannot be possessed. Okay. So I'll do that then. I will cast right. protection on even and good cat copying from my friend six zero seven. <laughs> He's full of great ideas Fantastic. today. That is working. Look at job you got both. Uh, yeah, two of you can do this. It's incredible. The ghost <laughs> again sort of pushes its way out of Baratomas. Um, if you send the spell on him as well. Because, because Sorry, I'm, I need to move up closer. Uh, because I'm yeah. looking in this direction towards where Hula was. Oh, yes, bad guy. Do I see who was portraying six or seven before the ghost leaves, or do I get a good a, um, a sort of visual? Yeah, yeah, I will say you do. Right, so there's two of us who can potentially um, use a face recognition on whoever. <laughs> use a face. I couldn't think of the words. Uh, right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, where is she actually? I'll find an image of, of her in just a moment, but for now, no worries. you are no longer possessed. But, um, Hala's concentrating on that spell. Uh, Faith can move up to here. Uh, she's going to use her action to wake Ashanti up. Oh, mm. no! Get, get up! Better than what get I up. Do. <laughs> we need you! Um, Ashanti, Wait. you are... The heck is go where am I? Wait. The ghost tried to possess you. Oh. oh. She helps you helps you to your feet. And uh yeah, you can see just hovering over the top of body uh the top of guy uh, Barry's head is the spirit. 
once again. Then I'm going to say, I was in a tavern. It was, it was, it was new. And there were these people in yellow cloaks with these, that were trying to kill me. Yeah, I, I, and, I saw that too. And, yes, yes, now you see. Murderers! The Let's sense what? came for me. The sense. The sense. Why did they they target you? Are you opposing? Counterfeit jewels. What did you, you say? were counterfeiting jewels, or you were trying to stop someone from counterfeiting jewels? You're trying to stop someone from selling counterfeit jewels. He says, No, I, sh I should have never paid them. You paid them in counterfeit jewels. Okay, um... Did you know they were counterfeit jewels? When you paid the Zins? <clears throat> he doesn't reply. He just starts okay. choking again. Okay. Um. Show us where the last of the Zents are. Will we'll let us go. Leave this vengeance. Mm. Uh, we'll let, leave I don't... it to us. Oh. Yes, yes. You're absolutely right, Hala. Let's go kill the people who were justly annoyed that they were swindled. <laughs> well, and murdered. I mean, murdered. they committed murder. <laughs> they, they did commit murder. Which isn't good Well, for depending anybody. on how much I was swindled for, I might commit murder. And 607 oh would do it for a copper piece. Look it up. Well, okay. So, um, do you not want to be released from the ghost's spell, or...? Is, is that Ashanti? Are you, are you trying to actually really? persuade them, or are you kind of being a bit sarcastic to this ghost? Being sarcastic to the ghost. Okay. Um, but, uh, you know, I mean, honestly, he did it to himself. I mean, seriously, mm. if he swindled this, this group, he swindled them with gems that had to be a lot okay. of money, and so, if he refused to pay and he wanted to make a point that nobody should swindle them, I mm -hmm. kind of understand. It's All rough right. justice, but it's justice. In that case, then, it looks like the ghost sees this, uh, sees you're not going to help and, like, lunges again forward, but you actually have your turn still, Ashanti. I mean, we can still oh, definitely I deal do with these ads, but... Do another charisma saving throw? No, no, you can get up and take a swing if you wanted. The, the ghost is okay, right there. I will stand up. I will mm -hmm. say, Andy, help. And I will, uh... I'm not gonna swing because Hella and Faith are right there, but I am gonna uh, stab forward uh, to puncturing. Okay, yep. Um, target the ghost and roll an attack. Uh, you have ah. advantage, so you can roll again. Okay. Make sure you target the ghost. Oh, I'm sorry. That's alright. Um, okay, so... I was only to see if you could actually, I because... Missed. No, 12... 12... Uh, sorry, not... Even an 11 hits. Um, but we'll take oh. the, the 9 juice to 5. Uh, okay. yeah. Okay, so your weapon kind of slices through the air a little bit. Okay, and as a bonus action, um, I am... I assume my rage stopped when I fell asleep. I believe so. Uh, yeah, I would have, actually, because you became incapacitated. Mm -hmm. So, um... Unable to possess a target. Uh... Instead, they kind of lash out towards the nearest individual. You can still see if they're attacking you. It's perhaps like 